Hey everyone, I've got another haul to share with you and yeah, so let me get started. I don't think I shared this stuff yet. Um, this is a new stamp that I purchased from eBay. It's called Recipe Border K2797 um, and I think I brought this off of eBay. It's from Eccentrics from 1997. I don't think I have any other stamps from this company. It's a rather large stamp, but it's doesn't look like it's ever been used. So I got that. Um, I got this fabric. It's actually, um, I think it's 10 of the same um, pieces. And this is already on interfacing, so you just have to iron it down and then um, to, you know, some other fabric and figure out what you're going to make with it. So I bought these pieces um, for something I had in mind. So I will hopefully get a chance to use that in the next coming months. Um, okay. These are four different designs from this company, which I have not purchased from before. This is the first time I've purchased. Um, let's see if there's a website. Here's their social media links. So if that helps. Um, but this is a Santa mug, little gingers right here. Um, this one is a snowman mug and each one of them has whipped cream, um, and different stuff with it. This one has a candy cane and a spoon, so you can use them interchangeably. Um, and the mugs are different shapes, by the way. This one is the reindeer mug. And she did have a bundle at one point, but I think it was sold out when I went to get it. So I just purchased them individually. And then the penguin mug. So this one has a scarf. So this one also, uh, this uh, reindeer mug also has a candy cane. So um, lots of candy canes. I think it might be a different size. Is it the same size? Um, they are the same size, but they face different directions. Yep, they're opposites. So that's nice. Um, so that's the four dies I got from Pixie Dust Designs. And I did get this fabric. Um, I uh, was thinking of using it for a project, but I don't. now that I see it, I don't think I'll be using this for the project I had in mind. I'll probably just put this in my stash and keep it for later. Um, so yeah. Um, I got some stamps and dies from the stamps of life um here's her website so uh i got the s'mores to stamp so you can see this makes the s'mores and there's some uh, sentiments there then i got the matching die set for it um and then i got a shaker die is that right? Yeah, the shaker die. And there is a um, more, more s'mores to stamp. <laughs> so this is the stamp set that goes kind of with this die. Uh, and then I got a cookie one. So this is a uh, sayings for cookies. Because, you know, got lots of cookie um, stamps now. One in particular that didn't have a sentiment, so... Um, cookies make everything better. Ain't that the truth? As long as it's the right cookie and it's a good cookie. Okay, so I bought this kit from somebody on eBay. This was a Simon Says Stamp Milk and Cookies kit. I don't know when this came out because I don't keep track of their stuff. So um, this was a collaboration between Simon Says Stamp and Doodlebug. Um, so here is the stamp. And you can see this actually coordinates with their uh, milk and cookies line. So here's some shape sprinkles that came with the kit. And then there's some sequins in here and some glitter paper. And I I think there's a piece of cardstock as well, a white piece of cardstock or something. So there's three pieces of glitter paper, but the stamp's never been used. Um, and then there are um, designer papers in here from the milk and cookies six by six pack. 
which I don't believe I had this one and I haven't been able to find it because it's not no longer um, available. I mean, it's not for sale anymore. Um, so they might have run out, you know, people might have run out of stock. So um, I'm going to add this to my recipe book um, collection because that's where I'm keeping all my um, papers for Doodlebug right now. I know I will be getting some use out of this for my pages because there's lots of gingerbreads in here and I know she's coming with the gingerbread stamp in the monthly kit club. Can you imagine what the add-on's going to be for that? If you guys aren't signed up for the kit, the monthly kit through Adorn It, and you are hoping for that gingerbread, I would sign up for the add-on because you can, I mean, that's just me, okay? I should stop talking. <laughs> um, they they usually do them a la carte too, but I would not wait. I would go ahead and sign on for the add-on. Um, if, you, if you're if you supposed to get the kit, maybe a month before or two months before, maybe. But um, there's some really cute papers in here that are included. And so since I didn't have this particular paper pad, I wanted to go ahead and, you know, this kit was a good price, I think. Um, I'm looking to see. I don't think anything was used out of it. Oh, the ink pad's not in here. Sukuniko Delicata Rose Gold, which I do have as a full size, I believe. I have that ink pad. Um, I'm looking to see if there's anything else. Yeah, everything else is in here. Um, oh, yes, Desert Storm cardstock that's in here. Um, but I don't think it was ever used. And here's some samples from Yana um, and some of the other team members from that time. Oh, that's cute. Stamping all over and then color it in. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm happy to have this kit in my stash. And I'll be adding this to my box so that I can use it for my recipe book. I haven't done a recipe book page in a while. Um, so I'm hoping to do one soon. <laughs> by the time you see this video hopefully i'll have started it i don't know um but thanks for watching and i'll talk to you soon bye for now hey everyone i'm back with a haul i have some goodies to share with you today um let me take this out because you don't want to see my well i don't want you to see my address but uh, i've got some stamps dies and paper and fabric to share with you um these are some stamp passion stamps that i purchased on ebay um as well as i think this is northwoods yeah this is from northwoods these are from stamp passions um and i just think they'll go with some of these stamps that i have in my stash so if you want to read those you can pause the video and they're all in great condition i don't think well one of them may have been inked or two of them okay um so those are the wood stamps. I did purchase this fabric. This is two yards of this Diana Markham gingerbread fabric. Um, I was looking for some fabric to do some binding for a set of placemats that I want to make. Um, they're quilted placemats. So the fabric has already been um, sandwiched together. It's actually one of the sides looks like this. The other side is a red and white cream color um, pattern with some recipes and gingerbreads on it. So I was looking to maybe use this for the binding, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go with that. Um, if not, I'll just use this for some other project. But this is the fabric on one side of the quilted fabric already, so it's reversible. All right, so I got some stamps from the new release from Paper Tray Ink. Stamps and dies, sorry. Let me go with the standalones. First, they have this uh, Love to Layer ovals. There's three ovals in this set. You can see that. Um, and here's the details on them. It's a really nice set. Um, the There is no cutting edge on the inside of the oval. So this is more of like a layer as opposed to a frame, I should say, in case you can't see that. Um, and then I got the Into the Blooms Orchids and I actually have two sets. I, I purposely ordered two sets because more often than not, I will make more than one bloom for uh, an orchid. Some orchids, you know, there, there are 
maybe one open at a time, but um, I thought, you know, if you're going to do this with your finished project, you probably want to just die cut multiple at a time. So that's why I purchased more than one set and they were on sale. She's having a sale. Um, so if they, if you're interested in orchids, um, this has the whole deal. It has two pots that have um, details in them some of the leaves and then the branches as well and then you've got one two three looks like three layers for the actual flower and some details oh yeah these are the buds sorry these are the buds right there so there is a um sort of you know the little closed flower i should say so yeah uh i got that and then i did get this standalone stamp set which is the um, Just Sentiments, You're On My Mind. These are nice for both the outside and the inside of a card or even a tag. Um, and there's quite a few in here. For $5, this is a good deal. At least to me it is. Uh, and then I also purchased the Tag It Minis because I love little tags. Um, I know you can't read all of these little mini sentiments, but they really are mini. But here's the tags. I got the die set too, it's in here. Um, which is separate, but um, you get eight different shapes of tags, and then you can put, uh, you can ink them with these images here, and you can also stamp inside the little white areas. You don't have to, um, you know, use the outside, you know, inked um, pieces, but you can also put some edging on it if you want just a white tag with some edging on it. So that's kind of nice that they included that. And then you get all these little um, tiny sentiments. And they are tiny, by the way. Um, I know you probably can't read them. <laughs> but yeah, really tiny sentiments. Here's here's the die. But the, they're really tiny tags. I like having really small tags available for my projects. So I just store them together. Um, and we'll probably put that in my tag bin. So this is a um, stamp that I got off of eBay. It's a eight and a half by eleven sheet um, from Peachy Keen. It's it's new, um, but it is one of these old retired ones. Um, PKSC twenty three from November two thousand thirteen. I don't know what the name of this set is, but you can see it's like stitching, but also um, Christmas or winter related because it's got tiny gingerbread in it that you can put in the stocking or the mittens. Um, you can put faces on these snowmen, snow women, but it's, um, and there's even a strawberry in here that has stitching on it. That's interesting. So yeah, there's a couple of different stamps in here. You can make a postage stamp. I'm looking at this like, what is this? I think this is an embroidery hoop. So you can stitch, make it look like it's, you're stitching a strawberry or the face or something like that because they're stitching lines in some of the stamps and there's large uh, sewing machines so um there's the set so there's quite a few stamps in it and so i purchased that and then i purchased some papers from this new to me um company they're actually a, um, a store in florida here's the website I've never purchased from them before, but I was watching a video. I think it was Jen, Strawberry Cream 39. I think I was watching her video. If if that's not right, somebody can, well, I don't know. Jen can correct me if this is not right, but I saw some paper on her um, channel that she had re recently purchased. So I went looking for it and it's a retired authentic paper pad. Um, this is not the one. They happen to have this um, paper pad as well because I was doing some searching and this one is called Homestead. When you buy authentic, authentic paper individually, that paper has a different texture than the, the paper in the paper pad. The paper in the paper pad is smooth. Um, I do like the texture on their individual papers, so I got some of that as well, but not in this um, particular collection. So this one is Homestead and you can kind of see the patterns in it. It's like your um, farm sort of homespun, I don't know, more farm, farmer's market type, but vintage because it is authentic. So there's cut-aparts, um, some 
like leaves and such uh, like a distress wood with some words there's a um, buffalo check roses with polka dots this one's just a stripe there's a farmhouse here different types of farmhouses there's a tractor and a cow um, this is a whole bunch of cows um, with different patterns cows and pigs and geese looks like some old um, newsprint you guys know authentic right they're very much uh, vintage style um, I like I usually like the colors of their um, pads their papers sorry some butterflies and polka dots more checks and plaids more polka dots and there's a chicken one with different patterns on it just chickens some apples another check so you can kind of see like um there's a distressed wood and here's the one that kind of caught my eye this one's like a recipe page um has lots of different like old school recipes written handwritten and then some empty ones so i thought i could use this for some recipe projects some stripes, some more vintage advertisements, um, chicken wire. Now, this is where the, the pad reverses and it actually goes through again. So um, you get two sets, I think, of paper that I showed you already. So this was Homestead, is that collection. And then this is the collection that, oh, sorry, I did get a stamp first. Um, this is an Elizabeth Craft Designs Kitchen Recipes 2. I don't know if this is still available anywhere, but um, I thought this would be fun for some projects too. So this is a sort of kitchen recipe sort of based thing. You get sauces and ingredients, uh, sauces and dips, ingredients, directions, master chef, kiss the cook, cakes and pies, sandwiches, kitchen, and then the definition. Need to try this, prep time, cook time. You can stamp recipe cards if you want. Or just stamp. Um, this says eleven ninety nine. I don't know if that's what I paid, but that's from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Uh, this is the collection that I saw and went hunting for because the colors are very retro, vintage. Um, so I got an eight by eight, a set of the loose papers because I liked some of them so much, and a, a paper pad right here and then the essentials pack or collection kit so um the collection kit has the 15 double-sided papers and coordinating accents meaning there is a sticker sheet in here and there may be <clears throat> there may be some cut aparts i don't know i didn't look inside but there is a sticker pack right here so that's something that I didn't get individually, right? Um, not that I need it, but um, some really cool vintage um, looking items. And the colorway is pretty much your red, blue, and black and cream. So if you're wondering, that's what this colorway is. Um, so here's the individual papers that I got. And like I said, when you purchase from Authentic, um, the individual papers have a texture to them, but when you get them in a paper pad, they're smooth. So um, it's nice to have both. Um, but like I said, I purchased some individual ones and I'm more than one of some of them. So I reversed them so you can see this is the reverse of this cut apart. And then more cut aparts, but a different one. And then here is a apron one with some uh, implements, appliances, um, some different words, recipe words or ingredients, fruits. This one is a different ingredient one. And there is this, which has lots of appliances, kind of like the apron one, but this is more of your pitcher and mixer and all that kind of stuff some of the utensils you would use a oh she showed this one and I, I thought oh that's really cool it's like vintage um cookware like you would have pyrex and stuff i have some of this in my kitchen not not these colors but 
<laughs> inherited <clears throat> some recipe cards. And on the back of the recipe card one is just a clear, um, just lines. So you could actually use these as recipe cards. So if I make another recipe book, which I think I will, because I didn't do it when I started my other one, um, I can use this paper line or I can use this for projects. So this is the collection pack and then that's the paper pad. And I, I got an eight by eight too. So they're in a smaller um, format, right? So when you get an eight by eight, the patterns are smaller. So I would probably use this more for um, card making. And this is the reason <laughs> I love this too. There's this red chicken, red and white chicken paper in it. It's really cute. On the back of it is eggs. So that's the reverse of the chicken paper. But anyway, um, there's even a cow one, but I don't know what's, oh, it's just a pattern. Cow with sheep. No, not sheep. They're pigs. Cows with pigs. So same, same, same idea. It's just a smaller pattern of these. So I figured I could use this for card making. They didn't have a six by six, so I would have bought that instead, but they didn't have it. So that is the, um, what is the name of collection? Ingredient. Yeah, ingredients. So you can see like on the paper pad, it actually has the jar and the, another jar. But it has, what is that? Somebody will explain that to me, right? That's a, like a little crank on it. See, I don't know these things. I'm not, I'm not that, I want to say the word is old, but I'm not that old. So that makes it sound like a bad thing, but it's not a bad thing. I don't see it as a bad thing. Anyway, um, this collection is from 2018, and I found it at that store that I showed at the beginning. Okay, so that is my haul for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.